Early vesicular lesions in a patient who develops erythema multiform after each episode of recurrent herpes labialis intraoral lesions of erythema multiform erythema multiform showing typical blood stained serosanguinous crusting of lips erythema multiform target lesions erythema multiform skin lesions diabetes showing dry mouth and angular stomatitis Sjogren syndrome Dry eyes Sjogren syndrome, spin bark height threads of saliva. Sjogren syndrome, saliva becomes frothy if produced in amount Sjogren syndrome, denture related stomatitis Sjogren syndrome, candidosis Sjogren syndrome, psilectasis major criteria 1, recurrent mouth ulcers 2, genital ulcers 3, ocular lesions 4, CNS lesions 5, skin lesions. Bessa disease typically manifests with large aphthous-like ulcers. Bessa disease typically manifests with large aphthous-like ulcers as here in the palate. Bessa disease may present with acneiform or pustular rashes. Bessa disease, like other immune complex disorders, may present with erythema nodosum. Bessa disease may present with acneiform or pustular rashes. Bessa disease, like other immune complex disorders, may present with erythema nodosum. Scleroderma, Crest syndrome, the association of calcinosis with reno phenomenon, esophageal dysmobility, scleroderma, and telangiectasia, showing calcinosis and reno phenomenon. Lupus erythematosus, systemic and Discoid, lupus is an autoimmune disease characterized by acute and chronic inflammation of various tissues of the body. Lupus has the potential to affect a variety of areas. Sometimes, lupus can cause disease of the skin, heart, lungs, kidneys, joints, and or nervous system. When only the skin is involved, the condition is called lupus dermatitis or cutaneous lupus. Erythematosus, a form of lupus dermatitis that can be isolated to the skin, without internal disease, is called discoid lupus. When internal organs are involved, the condition is referred to as systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE. Lupus erythematosus lesions may be lichenoid in appearance, but often affect the palate. Lupus erythematosus lesions resemble lichenoid lesions, but with a white brush bordered erosion, rheumatoid arthritis, typical ulnar deviation of fingers in arthritis, mutilans, rheumatoid arthritis, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis causing micronathia pemphigus and pemphigoid perineoplastic pemphigus, a persistent erosions of the lower lip, severe conjunctivitis and edema of the eyelid bullous pemphigoid of childhood, generalized bullous lesions. Bullous pemphigoid erosions on the dorsum of the tongue, pemphigoid desquamative gingivitis, pemphigoid conjunctival lesions. 1. What is the definite diagnosis? 2. What investigations are required? 3. What is the causative factor? 1. Which type of hypersensitivity? Leukedema, linea alba, physiologic or frictional hyperkeratosis. Early vesicular lesions in a patient who develops erythema multiform after each episode of recurrent herpes labialis intraoral lesions of erythema multiform erythema multiform showing typical blood-stained serosanguinous crusting of lips erythema multiform target lesions erythema multiform skin lesions diabetes showing dry mouth and angular stomatitis Sjogren syndrome Dry eyes Sjogren syndrome, spin bark height threads of saliva. Sjogren syndrome, saliva becomes frothy if produced in amount Sjogren syndrome, denture related stomatitis Sjogren syndrome, candidosis Sjogren syndrome, psilectasis major criteria 1, recurrent mouth ulcers 2, genital ulcers 3, ocular lesions 4, CNS lesions 5, skin lesions. Bessa disease typically manifests with large aphthous-like ulcers. Bessa disease typically manifests with large aphthous-like ulcers as here in the palate. Bessa disease may present with acneiform or pustular rashes.
Bessa disease, like other immune complex disorders, may present with erythema. Nodosum. Bessa disease may present with acneiform or pustular rashes. Bessa disease, like other immune complex disorders, may present with erythema nodosum. Scleroderma crest syndrome. The association of calcinosis with Raynaud phenomenon, esophageal dysmobility, scleroderma, and telangiectasia, showing calcinosis and Raynaud phenomenon. Lupus erythematosus, systemic and discoid. Lupus is an autoimmune disease characterized by acute and chronic inflammation of 